Alright everybody and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 playing as Bosnia. Last episode, if you happened to watch it, which I hope you did, we got involved in a nice little war between Hungary and Austria. Austria's prosecution of their land in Mantua, which is here, brought Hungary into the war. So now we are in war with Hungary and, um, well since Mantua is out of the fight, it's just Austria and her allies and Bosnia and her allies. Uh, going against Hungary. What we're hoping is that by occupying some of these lands here and by contributing enough to the war, we can convince Austria to give us some of the lands in Hungary that we have claims on uh, during the peace deal. So that's what we're hoping is going to happen. So let's kick this off. Let's continue the war. We're at about 50% war goal. That's going to go down quite a bit as... Uh, as some more territories get occupied, and as Hungary starts to lose more men. Okay. Let's go down and assist. We just want to contribute as much as we can to the fight against the Hungarians. Support them as much as possible. Ooh. Looks like we're going to lose this one. Yep. Okay, let's read what this was. I've never had a pop-up like this. So we lost this. We lost some war score. We lost some troops. That's okay. We can't expect to win every single battle. That's the way war goes. Okay, so now we've got warriors do not read books. With the war taking the focus of every capable and productive person in the nation, and that's because our manpower is starting to get really low, uh, there is a lot less time for frivolous activities of musicians and poets. And even the best poets, and even the best of poets, is no better a soldier than the common farmer. And that's true. And the sword, the sword is stronger than the book. We lose one stability. That is bad. That's actually very bad. So we lost stability. Ugh. So now we're at negative one stability. Our army has retreated. What is this? The great statement, the great statesman, Albert the Sixth. Von Habsburg of Austria has died. Our royal marriage with Austria has ended. Okay, and now they've got a new new leader. George II of Austria has been elected emperor. Now let's get in here and see if we can snatch up another royal marriage with the Austrians. Uh, dynasty. Let's get a royal marriage. Perfect. Let's get that royal marriage back. We want to try to keep our relations with Austria really, really strong. Okay, let's move back up to the border region. Serbia, Serbia and Austria are doing some work up here. Oh, oh, the war's over. I don't think we got it. We didn't get anything. We didn't get a fucking thing. <sighs> let's read what happened. They accepted peace with the enemy's Hungary. Hungary will be forced to give Austria 10% of their income each month to pay for war re uh, reparations. That's pretty much all it was. Was they're, they're paying war reparations and giving up 126 Ducats. That sucks. Mantua in the Papal State. Alright, that was a text message. Um, sorry about that. I had a little text message interruption. So, uh, let's see... Let me see. I just looked to see if we could... I just looked to see if we could declare war to actually take these regions back now that Hungary is so crippled by the war they just fought. The Papal States will come in and fight. And the Papal States, as you can see, are huge. Mantua will not because they're, they're pretty much beat to shit. Austria will not support us, but Bohemia will. And of course, Serbia. 
and I'm really worried about the Papal States because one of my missions is to protect against the Papal States, which they have a 25 stack, and I only currently have a very beat up 8 stack, so we're not going to pursue that war quite yet. Not going to pursue it, and it looks like the Ottomans are be are beginning to um, expand. Hold on. Mantua and Austria. Full annexation. Okay. So now, I didn't realize Austria was... No, they still won't fight. I didn't realize Austria was still fighting a war. It looks like the Ottomans are beginning to expand into... Um, Lithuanian and Poland territory, so it looks probably, if they win whatever war it is they're fighting, that they'll expand probably right here. It's possible they'll take this over as well. Let's see what kind of a war they've got going on. They are current wars with Poland. Let's see, diplomacy. They're defending against Poland in the Polish conquest of Pod Poldalia, which is somewhere here. So they're defending, but they're counterattacking pretty heavily. So Poland went to war with the Ottomans. Lithuania then came in, and Poland said, or uh, the Ottomans said, nope, nope. And they counterattacked pretty hard and uh, are pretty much walking over every province that Lithuania and Poland has. Recover negative stability. Our manpower. Let's do this one. We're going to take that one because our manpower is going to go up. Black news. Oh, we got another stability drop. And that is because our leader died. Right? Oh, no, 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 no. What happened? Our people are losing confidence in your government, leading to a drop in stability. Some super superstitious fools even suggest that our country is losing divine favor. Our tax income, global trade power, and spy defense will decrease. Our old monarch has decided to die a little bit too soon. Okay, so that's what happened, is he died. Um, and the heir is not ready, so we're in a regency council. A royal marriage offer from Austria, we'll take that. We also can invest in a new technology, the courthouse, we're going to take that, of course. National decisions are available. We can pass the Act of Uniformity, pass the Suffrage Bishop, Bishop Act, and that... Uh, authorizes bishops to be appointed. Brings up our stability cost a little bit. And unifying the church by enforcing church attendance. We're not going to... We're not going to do that. I'm not going to force people to go to church. Fuck that. Fuck... Fuck of that. Royal marriage from Bohemia. We'll take that as well. They won't give us an alliance. Whoops. Ah, oh, we got warned by the Ottomans again. Fuck off, Ottomans. Seriously, they keep warning us. Uh, people are sampling new religions. Our policy of encouraging innovation and free thinking has led... To our people taking a more relaxed attitude to the state religion. We can let them, or we can reverse course. We get heresy if we let them until 1547, so another 10 years. We get local unrest of plus one, local tax modifier of minus 33%, local manpower modifier of minus 40%, monthly autonomy change of plus 0 0.05, or we can reverse the course, which gives a missionary strength of plus one, technology cost... Let's let them. That's that was the whole point in taking over the um, <coughs> that those ideas was to let people practice what religion they wanted. So we're going to let them. We'll take the pen penalty just for the sake of role playing, and Savoy entered a military alliance. Hungary broke the military alliance with Aquila. Okay, whatever. I thought that was important, but it wasn't. Recall the diplomat.
We need to get that stability up. Let's see if I can pay for a stability boost. 105. Let's at, yeah, let's at least get it up one. I'll spend I'll spend the um, the points to get that. Now let's find somebody to increase our relations with. Papal states, no. How about Saxony? Saxony seems to be getting quite big. Let's try Sweden. I think I've tried Sweden a number of times. But try to increase our relations with as many um, Protestant nations as we can. It looks like Austria is switching over to Reformed quite quickly, as well as the uh, the Papal States. What's happening up here? Norwegian peasants. Hmm. Uh, still, our number one goal to this day is to expand Bosnia. I want to expand this way, but since Hungary is as powerful as they are. Who are they allied with? Then and they, and they got their alliance back with Austria. I can't really do that. I could expand this way, but that's into Ottoman territory, and we can see how huge Ottomans are. I could take it over Serbia and um, annex them. I could annex them, but that's honest broker. The Ottomans, the, yep, so Ottomans, Austria, and Serbia all go up by 20. Um, that's not really going to give us much money. And I like I like having the alliance bonus of having Serbia as my ally. And my march, more specifically. Let's look, we got probably a military technology coming up soon. Very soon, we got the Spanish Square, which is going to unlock some... Um, new troops for us. Some new infantry. I'm curious to see how this Ottoman war carries out. Oh, they, they did. They took over um, they took over all this section here. What's this, the Teuton Teutonic Order? Yep, the Teutonic Order has risen again. Ottomans are expanding very heavily into into uh, the Middle East here. And it looks like they might try to creep this way as well. Here we go. There's that technology. Uh, the flutes. Let's keep... I'm going to hold on to that for a little while. I'm going to hold on to that because once our next idea comes over... Um, I'm, I'm, it might, might be a diplomatic um, idea. So I might, I might try to just save those up. Until they get to 999 or whatever. And uh, and if, if, if by that time I get a new diplomatic idea, um, we'll use we'll be able to use those to, to purchase it. Okay, what happened here? We've got the new leader. He's a 453, so he's come of age. That's good. And we also have a new heir, and he's a 115. Ugh. Not that good. Not that good. Military one's almost done. Well, 
Lots of um, heretics popping up over here. And what is this? This is Liege. And Quaker heretics in whatever that is. Oh, oh, uh, Utrecht. Diplomatic move. Hold on. Austria declared war on Bavaria. I wonder if they'll call us in. Where is Bavaria? Right up here. Very small. Okay, so diplomatic move. We have diplomacy between nations was often affected by random factors from both sides involved. Most of the time, these factors were beyond the control of the foreign ministers involved. We can appoint, appoint new diplomats to gain 30 diplomatic power. Or we can improve relations with our neighboring states and the Ottomans' uh, opinion goes up by plus 30. Whatever, we'll take that one. Improve the relations. A peasant revolt. We have a peasant revolt in Serbia. So peasants have risen up. We will move in to support them. It looks like it's going to be over by the time we get there. The Serbians, Serbians can handle it. So there was a peasant revolt in Serbia. That's fine. We'll go back. They did lose a lot of morale, so I think they probably were pretty close to getting wiped out. Um, because it is the mountains, of course, or rather the woods here in Serbia. Very tough spot playing as Bosnia. Certainly a tough one. Certainly a tough one. It's funny how um, how they end up going to war together. Usually, not directly. It's because they they go to war with an ally of one or the other. So they end up fighting each other and killing each other. But then they go right back to being an, an ally afterwards. Uh, what did that say? Bohemia. They wish to inform us that they are no longer relevant to their interests uh, so, okay, so they stopped giving us money. I forgot they were giving us money. <laughs> um, and our policy of encouraging innovation and free thinking has led our people to taking a more relaxed attitude on state religion. We can let them. We'll let them. We'll let them, let them go. Let them do what they will. Let them do what they will. Recall the diplomat. Oh, probably go another couple of years, I think, and then if nothing really big happens, and then we'll call it quits. Another pretty slow episode, but that's how they go when you play as Bosnia. Or when I play as Bosnia, the way that I play, apparently. Um, what to do, what to do? What to do? Hmm. An alliance with Savoy. And they are allied with Bohemia, Bremen. I think we'll take that. Why not take it? And I think we must have had... By now, yeah. Let's, uh, let's increase that to a level... 12. And we can go get new troops. We are going to get... Some musketeers! Finally, we can get offensive musketeers or defensive musketeers. And pretty much...
Let's take the offensive Eastern Musketeers. Let's do that, and let's read about them, because we have to do it this way. Ah, nothing, nothing really special, nothing really uh, interesting labeled there. It just says it's an attack type infantry. I should have taken defensive, but whatever. Whatever, because we've been playing def more defensively than we have offensively. Royal marriage with... Sure, take it, whatever. Whatever. Now we should be fulfilling that mission shortly, shouldn't we? Manpower level of at least 90%. Austria is now at war with Baden. We get national unrest of minus 0.5 and tax modifier plus 10. Once we complete that, this should be quite soon. Another couple of months. There we go. Manpower is recovered. Good. Let's pause it, see what kind of other missions we've got. The rival of our rival. Increased relations with um, Switzerland's opinion of Bosnia of at least 100. Let's see what their opinion is now. Zero. So let's take that mission. We'll take that one and we'll send a diplomat to Switzerland. Improve relations. Send. Okay, I think we're going to call it quits right here. Uh, if you guys want to see more of Europa Universalis playing as Bosnia, please give this a like, comment, subscribe, I beg you. Um, if you have any future ideas for future episodes, leave it in the comments, and better yet, go to my new Facebook page, like it, leave your comments there, leave your ideas there, that's the best way to communicate with me. I leave all my new updates and, uh, and news updates there. So um, I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.